Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you. For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way, with a brand new recipe every day. Sending videos from her trailer, yeah, she's Jolene Sugar Baker. Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and I was just running out of the trailer. And guess what? I didn't have breakfast. I know it's Christmas time. It's Trailer Park Christmas 2015, and welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Trailer Park Christmas 2015, where I show you how the Trailer Park celebrates the holiday. Well, guess what? I haven't ate breakfast for the day, and I've got to go around shopping and get some holiday things done. Wouldn't it be great to have a breakfast on the go, especially around the holidays? Well, guess what? I'm going to show you how to make a great cookie with the taste of orange. And using that cereal that kind of looks like pebbles, it's the, you know, the rock kind, the kind of the granola kind. I know that's a little fancy, but sometimes you get that on sale. I'm going to show you how to make my morning cookies up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2015. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Breakfast is the most important part of the day, says some sort of studies on the internet. You can look it up if you really want to know. Sometimes you're just in a hurry. You're going out shopping or got some things to do around the holidays and you just don't have time to sit down for actually breakfast. Now, I don't know if this really replaces breakfast, but it's certainly better than nothing. And it's a morning orange cookie and it uses some cereal too and it probably has some nutrients in it i don't know but it's really great to grab when you're running out the door and you just can't take the time i've got a half a stick of butter which is a half cup we're going to just dump that right on in there and i've got a half cup of sugar that goes right on in there just like that we're just going to cream this together just a little bit and get this going and i'll check back with you in just a moment Okay, now that you cream the sugar and the butter together, you're going to add one egg to it. So go ahead and add that right on in there. And you know the can in the frozen section of orange juice? I melted some down. This is just two tablespoons of that. That's orange juice. That actually was what that is. I didn't add any water or anything to that. And what we're going to do is I like to add orange zest. We're going to add about a tablespoon of that. And you can use a zester or anything that you have to make the zest. So we're, let's go ahead and get about a tablespoon of that in there. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, once you have that all mixed together, you're going to add a teaspoon of baking powder right on in there. Now, I have one and one-fourth cup of all-purpose flour. We're going to add that right on in there. Now, this is the cereal part. This probably adds some sort of ingredients to it. But this is actually what they call nugget cereal. I think it's barley. And this is just kind of a, um, it, well, it's not, it doesn't look appetizing to me. I don't know how people eat that, but it's usually called some sort of nugget or barley nugget cereal. It's not something that I look for in a cereal, but it's going to be great in this actual cookie here. So let's go ahead and mix this up. And I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, and we are back, and I have an ungreased cookie sheet here. I've preheated the oven to 350 degrees. I've got a teaspoon here, and we're just going to take little globs of them. One teaspoon of the dough mixture, and there we go. And we're just going to plop it right there on our pan. And we're going to get a whole pan ready for the oven, and they're going to cook about 10 to 12 minutes. So let me get a whole pan ready, and I'll check back with you in just a moment. Okay, now we have a whole pan of my morning orange cookies. And what we're going to do is cook them for about 10 to 12 minutes. We're going to keep our eye on them. So go ahead and set your timer at 350 degrees for about 10 to 12 minutes. And 
there you have it, my morning orange cookies. And look at them. They're so cute and petite, and you can throw some in a bag, and out the door you go shopping, and especially if you forget to have some breakfast, because they have cereal in them, and the taste of orange, that will wake you up. But I can't wait to try one, so let me go ahead and give a taste here. Mmm! Taste that orange flavor, and... The crunch of the nugget cereal, I mean, that's not my favorite in the morning. Um, I like stuff with marshmallows instead, but in the cookie, that gives a crunch. Wow, that's kind of hearty and filling. That would be great in the morning. Mmm, I hope you get a chance to make my morning orange cookies. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow the trailer park on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And, of course, download their free calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com so you can follow along because I see right here that tomorrow is a recap. I talk about all the recipes that we've already done. There's a video every day until the 25th. I love spending the holidays with you, and I'm so glad to be a part of it with you. And hit that big old subscribe button, and I'll see you back tomorrow. I love you. Merry Trailer Park Christmas. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Bye. pride in the double wide.